Hello, and welcome to this introductory video on the Ray model of light. In this video, we're just going to introduce the Ray model, talk about what sort of things a Ray can do, and then in subsequent videos, we'll explore how that enables us to understand things like image formation by lenses um, and similar features. What the Ray model of light says, that in sort of everyday considerations, we're never fussed about the wave-like properties of light. So we don't care that there's oscillating electric and magnetic fields, unless we're particularly trying to build, you know, uh, an antenna, a radio receiver, something like that. In everyday life, you know that light shines, and it creates a nice shadow of you, it looks like you, it doesn't become several meters wide or nanometers wide because of the wavelength of the light. None of that is happening. It moves perfectly in a straight line, it casts you obstruct part of it, and you result in a nice geometric shadow that looks like you behind you. There's no weird wave phenomena occurring. And that is the fundamental idea of the Ray model, that light will just move in a straight line, and it will keep going in that same straight line until it's either absorbed, reflected, or refracted by basically interacting with something. Okay, so what that means, really, is that you imagine anything, any object that you're looking at and seeing, say, a tree over here. All right, you're looking at this tree. What you imagine for this ray model is that every single point on the tree, maybe that one, and the top, say, whatever, let's do the top because that's easier, um, is emitting light. And it's just going in every single direction, straight, in that direction, uh, and all around in three dimensions, coming out into the board, all sorts of different directions. And those rays will continue until either they hit something, so that one gets obstructed, that one obviously doesn't, it just keeps going. So this will be how I cast the shadow, because that last ray that makes it by goes there, this one goes over here, and so all of this region I'm now projecting it onto some wall, all of that region would be dark as the shadow of that weird little rectangle thing that I've drawn there. Okay. And if I happen to have cool lenses or something here, we'll actually draw it like a lens, even though we haven't talked about them, then I can do fun stuff of getting it to change direction maybe. Or, of course, I could put a mirror here and have that one go right back and reflect to the tree. Okay. So, key idea, this are the main interactions. I can obstruct the light, I can bend the light, or I can reflect the light. And every single point on this tree is doing this thing. So over here, I would again emit rays in all directions. So I might draw those in really quickly um, in, say, a different color. So this one might be doing something like that, reflecting off of there. This one might be going over here, and um, what was I doing? Uh, I've drawn it sort of going through the center, so maybe it just goes through, maybe it bends a little. And this one would again create a shadow, but this time shadow might be over there. So those are the sorts of things that are key to this, and we're going to explore each of these ideas, reflection, refraction, in turn, in their own videos. 